In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how we can create a pivot table with more than one dimension. A dimension is a different view of the data. It's different methods of looking at the data. Often dimensions are different categories of data. For instance, in our data set here, we have a country or we have a business segment. So maybe our sales manager would like to see sales by, say, our country and our business segment. We have other ways of looking as well. We have categories and products, many different ways we can look at our data. So dimensions are the different ways that we look at our data. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with a fresh pivot table. And to do that, I can remove the fields from the pivot table. I can click on rows and our values, and I could remove both. The other option is I can use the clear option, which is up on my menu option. We're going to go through these pivot table tools a little bit later on. But the clear all is another method of being able to clear our pivot table. So if I click on the pivot table, you can see now I have a, a fresh pivot table. So in this case, our sales manager would like to see what is the total sales by country and by business segment. So I'm going to drag my country down into rows. And then we see a list of our countries. I'm going to drag my business segment across into my columns. This creates like a traditional table that you would create in your spreadsheets when you're summarizing data or producing management reports. Our last part that we need is that your sales information. So we're going to drag that down into our values. And you'll see now that Excel will go and calculate for each permutation of country and business segment each of the totals. What is also really nice is we also get the grand totals. Now again, this isn't particularly readable at the present time, so we're going to select one of the fields. I'm going to right click and we're going to select our number format again. And we're going to choose the number option, zero decimal places, and use our thousand separator. There we go, that's much easier to read. So we can see each of the individual items. So for Canada and accessories, our total sales was 204,689. As we can see, our total sales for accessories was $993,788. Our total sales for Australia, was 2,819,725. So we get a lot of information in this table. And obviously we have our grand total of our total sales that is in the data source. Another method that we can look at our data is to actually use what we create, a, what we call a nested hierarchy. So if we take our business segment and we take it out of columns and we actually drag it down into our row, we can drop it underneath our country. This now creates a hierarchy where we have Australia and as you can see now, we have each of our business segments underneath it. So we have our subtotal for Australia, and then we have the detail over here, which is really quite nice to go through. You'll also see that you have your grand totals down at the bottom over here. What we also get is the ability to do what we call collapse and expand. Now these buttons over here allow us to collapse our different sets of information. So if we click on those, and we can actually summarize this, quite a high level. And if we want to drill down on a certain country, say for instance France, we can then expand it by clicking on the plus and minus signs. So as you can see, there's a couple of ways of being able to use more than one dimension within our pivot tables. The one option is to be able to take the business segment and to be able to put it into a column. This would create a traditional table view where we have a set of information in our row and a set of information in our column. The other view is our nested hierarchy where we have our fields underneath each other in rows and you can create basically as many hierarchies as you want. Obviously at a point in time your information may become quite meaningless so you don't want to go too many levels down but you can keep adding new fields onto these rows if you wanted to. This as we said now creates the nested hierarchy view. Okay, this concludes this lesson in terms of creating pivot tables with more than one dimension.